Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to the Weekend Gardener. I'm John Dromgul. I'll bet your tomatoes are getting pretty big now. Many of them are flowering, but they need a little bit of support. When all those tomatoes are on there on a windy day, they're just going to fall over. But you can do that without spending a lot of money. Tomato cages like these right here are available everywhere. And these tomato cages don't cost very much. But when that tomato gets big, it's going to just fall over. It doesn't have any support at all. So there's an inexpensive way to do this, make these permanent, give them a lot of support, and you're going to see that the tomatoes will do much better that way. All you're going to need is a piece of T-post right here. This is the smaller kind of T-post. And then some bamboo. You can find this at many places that sell fence supplies. And once again, they're not that expensive. So you take these two items and some of those plastic zip ties and uh, you'll be able to do it. Let me show you one of the ways that we'll do this. On a tomato cage like this one, there's the tomato cage right down there. And though here are the bamboo poles. Here's the T-post. And they're driven into the ground and they just continue to support the tomato as it grows up. You can cut one of these bamboo sticks into pieces that will be wrapped all the way around and as it grows it'll continue to have support and it'll do it again and again and those cherry tomatoes get huge so that'll be a good thing for that there are many other uses for them also like using them on a frame a cow panel and you can use it to support the cow panel we've got peas growing on ours right back there and so it's a very good thing to use in the winter uh, or in the um, spring gardens also, this little TP right here is the same thing. We've got the T-posts on it, and then the bamboo right here, and right here we have those straps, the plastic straps, and now we've got some squash growing down here and some beans growing up right next to it. It's inexpensive. It doesn't cost a whole lot of money to make some of these either. It just takes a little bit of time and a day spent at the nurseries and at other places that sell fence supplies. For The Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next week with another hint for your garden.